Hello, this is Alexander Cross, Criminal Defense here in the San Francisco Bay Area. If you'd like to learn more about Criminal Defense, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Law Offices of Cross and Associates, and be, feel free to leave questions in the comment section below so that we may respond in the future with more videos. So we received an interesting inquiry here on our YouTube channel. This has to do with somebody who failed a lie detector exam. Let's see here. I'm suspected in the disappearance of my daughter. I didn't pass the lie detector test. I'm wondering if I'll be arrested. In the past, I was accused of domestic violence with my ex-partner. Well, first of all, kidnapping is a violation of Appeal Code Section 207. Uh, it's a felony that carries up to eight years state prison. If it is found that the kidnapping was done for any kind of sexual purpose or for a robbery, that's a felony that carries up to life in prison. Uh, obviously, the other one's a felony as well. Now, when being uh, questioned by the police, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do will be used against you in court. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't pay an attorney, they will give you a public defender. Here's the thing. Don't ever submit yourself to a chemical test. Don't ever submit yourself to a, um, uh, what do you call it, a lie detector test. Don't ever do that. Poli uh, poli uh, poli um, don't ever do the polygraphies. Don't ever do the lie detector test. Don't ever do it. Um, the reason is because they don't have scientific merit. They have no scientific merit. They're not admissible in court. The police are just using that to intimidate you. They're using that to see how nervous you are. They're using that to see whether or not you'll crack, to whether or not you'll admit that you did it. Nothing you say or do during the course of the polygraphy test is gonna be to your benefit. Don't ever submit to those. Uh, the results of the polygraphy test are not gonna be basis for whether or not they arrest you or not, unless you flat out said you did it, in which case then they would have arrested you right there on the spot. But uh, just for the people out there to know, never, ever, ever submit to a lie detector test. Matter of fact, don't ever talk to the police because anything you say or do will be used against you in court. And don't listen to what the police tell you because the police have the right to lie to you. They have the right to make up whatever story in order to, they have the right to make up whatever story, they can make up whatever law in order to get your favor, in order to get you to spill the beans, so to speak. They'll say, oh, we'll tell the judge and he'll treat you well. No. Never talk to the police. Never submit yourself to a lie detector test. Please, um, you know, you need to call a criminal attorney as quickly as possible in order, um, you know, for him to start investigating the matter and to start maybe discussing the matter with the DA's office to see how the filing is going. But please don't ever volunteer information. It doesn't matter if you're innocent or guilty it will be used against you in court. Regardless, if you'd like to learn more about criminal defense here in the San Francisco Bay Area, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Law Offices of Cross and Associates, and feel free to ask questions in the comments section below so that we may respond in the future with more videos. But if you've been accused of a crime and need representation in court here in the San Francisco Bay Area, call us now for a free consultation at 1-800-862-7677. On our next video, we're going to be discussing the case of somebody who's looking to clean his record in order to acquire a job. Criminal lawyer, criminal lawyers, DUI lawyer, DUI lawyers, criminal attorney, criminal attorneys, DUI attorney, DUI attorneys.